So when you first pick up a Bratton, it will be in a leather case like this, um, simple clip top, and you'll be able to pull the Bratton out. And that's where things get complicated. Uh, it's not doesn't really have an obvious opening to it, but you want to go to the side with these black clips on it, and it's going to be a little hard to pry apart, but it pulls open and hinges like that. Um, so that's how you open your Brunton. Um, and then you flip out the parts. You don't have to flip out this little thing. You can just leave that in for most of the work that you'll be doing unless you're doing sighting. Uh, so let's then take a look at the face of this in more detail. So taking a look at the side of the Brunton, uh, there's a few things to point out. First of all, we have our adjusting screw, which is used to set the declination of the Brunton. You don't need to do this every time. The other one is the lift pin here, which you hold down in order to stabilize the compass needle. That can allow you to take a measurement in a hard to reach place and then read it more carefully uh, once you bring the compass back to your face. Looking at the top down view, we have uh, the lid, which is the upper part that you're prying open. On the lid, there's a mirror uh, which is used for sighting, but you can also use it as a mirror in the field if needed. And there's a little window in this mirror, which is pretty important for the sighting process, which is not part of this video. The sighting arm is the black arm that's sticking off the other side. Now we're going to focus in on the middle part, the sort of dial part of the compass. So now that we're looking at the dial at the middle of the compass, um, I want to start by pointing out the pin at the top. That is where you will see what the declination is set at. So whatever number is pointing, it's either that much west or east of north. Right through the center of the compass, you have the compass needle, which should swing freely as you hold the compass horizontally and will point towards the numbers in the outer ring to indicate the direction the compass is pointing. You have two levels on a compass, the bullseye level, which levels a horizontal plane. So when you're holding the compass dial flat, it should center the bubble in the middle of the smaller ring. And the clinometer level, which is a cylindrical level that is um, going to move as you adjust the clinometer arm with using a lever on the back of the compass. That one has two lines, and you want to get the bubble in the center of those lines. Around the outermost ring of the compass, you should see a graduated circle. This, these numbers indicate the compass direction or map direction that the compass is pointing. And then you also have a half circle inside of that, which will give you the inclination when using the Brunton's clinometer function. The largest tick mark on the arm that moves as you move the clinometer is going to indicate for you what number reading you have on the half circle arc um, for the clinometer. So that's a basic introduction to the most relevant parts of the Brunton that you're likely to use in Field Methods 1. Next up, you'll have a video explaining how to use the Brunton to measure striking it. Stay tuned.